Howdy, folks. Live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Kent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's going around. Is that a big top? I see they're lying on the ground. Valley who? Valley who? Oh, Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Fun ideas for your Wisconsin getaway from dining and destinations to attractions and accommodations are available at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And by Northwoods Brewing of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Dedicated to craft brewing specialty beers including Flop and Crappie, Lil Bandit Brown Ale, and Poplar Porter. NorthwoodsBrewPub.com And now here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, singer-songwriter, and part-time pig farmer, Michael Perry. Thank you, Phil. Howdy, Tent Show folks. Ah, oh, it's great to be way up north here, under the beautiful blue and pearl gray canvas, this fine, stout tent at the foot of Mount Ashwa Bay, overlooking the ancient waters surrounding the Apostle Islands, and just one sail full of breeze away from Shawanigan Bay. The performance you're about to hear is one in a long, long tradition of singing, dancing, and storytelling performed live and in person beneath this beautiful tent. We keep her pitch from June until the autumn moons, and we'd be most grateful if you choose to join us. You'll find a complete schedule at bigtop.org. We hope you join us, and if you do, when the first note rises from the stage, we think you'll understand why patrons and performers alike love to say, Big Top Chautauqua. It's the Carnegie Hall of Tent Shows. Tonight on Tent Show Radio, the raw musical literature of the man responsible for the remarkable album Southeastern, Jason Isbell. And if you're wondering if it's Isbell or Isbell, all I can tell you is the man himself says his book. So we're going to go with that. And a little later on, I'll tell you how meditation can change your life, provided you find the right spirit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our guest tonight grew up through imperfect times in rural Alabama. He carries within him a touch of soul from Muscle Shoals. You may have known of him as the guy who wrote the song Declaration Day, during his tenure with the drive-by truckers. Or maybe you know he's out there deeply established on his own now, thanks to lyrics that read like short stories and performances as raw as the characters who populate his songs. Once I sat beside someone the first time they heard Jason Isbell sing Dress Blues, and when he finished, the person beside me said in the quietest voice, I will not be ready to hear that song again for a long, long time. And when it comes to the power of art, I am not sure any greater compliment can be given. Folks, there are times I try to craft an introduction that frames the show to come. And then there are times I just step aside and let the fine thing happen. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Isbell. Hey folks, how are y'all doing this evening? It's great to see you. Thank you so much for coming to the show. I'm Jason Isbell with the 400 unit. We're from Muscle Shoals, Alabama for the most part. Very happy to be here tonight and we hope y'all have a great time.
pray for the daylight to come Folks back home surely have called off the search and gone back to their own
Thank y'all very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is a beautiful place. I love, I love the big top. It's gorgeous. I've played in a tent before. I've played in a tent before. I've actually lived in a tent for a couple of weeks. But this is far bigger and nicer than any tent that I think I've ever been in. I think. It's decoration day And I have a man who roll a stone on his grave well, What would he say? He'd say keeping me down, boy, won't keep you away It's decoration day And I near the hill, boy, said put him away My Said we'd fight till the last Lawson's last living day Well, I never knew how it all got started
decoration day But I got family in Mobile Bay They ain't never seen my daddy's grave But that don't bother me It ain't March anyway Cause I got dead brothers in song a lot of people feel like this is an important song to them and it makes me really happy but I get a lot of requests before the show I'll see a piece of paper backstage or on my monitor or something that says could you please dedicate cover me up to my wife my name is Bill or Ted or you know something like that and they always say could you dedicate this song to my wife or to my girlfriend or to my my buddy's girlfriend because I'm trying to steal her or something like that um, and I appreciate that, but I can't. Dedic I wrote the song for my wife. So if you want to dedicate it to your buddy's girlfriend, you feel free to do that. But for me, it's going to have to be for my wife every time. She blushes. I do that to make her blush. I wish you could see people blush on the radio. You can see them blush in a big top, that's for sure. trust anyone I was so sure what I needed was more tried to shoot out the sun days when we raised we flew off the page such damage was done I 
Thank you very much. There's a man who walks beside me. He is who I used to be. And I wonder if she sees him and confuses him with me. And I wonder who she's pining for on nights I'm not around. Could it be the man who did the things I'm living down? I was rougher than the timber shipping out of Fond du Lac. When I headed south at 17, the sheriff on my back. I'd never held a lover in my arms or in my gaze. So I found. But the night I fell in love with her, I made my weakness known to the fighters and the farmers digging dusty fields long. The jealous innuendo of the lonely hearted men let me know what kind of country I was sleeping in. Well, you couldn't stay. Had reached our little town Soon she heard about the boys I used to hang around We robbed a Great Lakes freighter Killed a couple and a boy When I told her her eyes flickered Like the sharp steel of a sword All the things that she suspected I'd expect the truth that drew her to me when I landed here. There's a man who walks beside me, he is who I used to be. And I wonder if she sees him and confuses him with me. I wonder who she's pining for all nights I'm not around. Could it be? Listening to Tech Show Radio. Thank you. Welcome back to Tent Show Radio, folks. From the backstage dressing room with the one bonely little light bulb burning. The guy's got to do what he can for his brain, to say nothing of his marriage. So I recently agreed to attend a weekend meditation retreat with my wife. Agreed is an interesting word here, as I was given the option of not attending, but after passing on the previous 17 or so, one had a sense that there was more at stake here than inner peace. Through years of hard work, dedication, practice, and personal discovery, 
My wife has become the yogic equivalent of an acrobatic thought ninja. Over the same course of time, I've discovered that if you stack three yoga mats directly on top of each other, you can just about take a nap on them. The key is to position them equidistant between the six directions of the universe and about four feet out from the wood stove. That said, I'm a guy who remains open to alternative ways of thinking. Fleet farm or farm and fleet, who am I to say? Go in peace. And I'm totally willing to expand my consciousness, although again, naps are nice. I also have plenty of opportunity to study my wife, and am fully resolved on whether the world needs more people like me or more people like her. So I'm trying to be more like her. When we arrived at the yoga studio, I was one of three men in the room. So basically, it was like going back to nursing school, only without the embarrassing polyester smock and white shoes. For meditation class, I wore jeans, a flannel shirt, and gray socks. This is what we call meeting halfway. Plus, the world is not ready to see me barefooted in a seafoam green tank top and mid-calf drawstring yoga knickers. Right off the bat, I caught a break when the instructor said I'd be allowed to meditate while sitting upright in a chair. It's not that I can't achieve your classic full lotus position. It's just that the end result would be the equivalent of a botched bilateral hip replacement. There is the added bonus that I long ago mastered the art of napping while sitting upright in a chair. The instructor began by playing a DVD featuring a revered Tibetan monk whose brochures I'd seen around the house. He seemed a cheerful and peaceful fellow, although I admit the first thing I thought of when I saw him sitting cross-legged in an armchair was, hey, get your feet off the furniture. I just heard mom pull up. These are the sort of thoughts that impede your progress along the dharmic arc. Much of the wisdom the monk shared was of a classically monkish sort. I will need several additional lives and a set of flashcards to gnaw my way through the four immeasurables. But there were two very humanizing moments. The first came when, while expanding on the aforementioned immeasurables, he invoked the phrase yada yada. The second came when he said one of the chief purposes of meditation is to tame the monkey mind. I could use some of that. Since I don't wish to insult monkeys, let's just say my mind operates like a nervous squirrel in a room full of acorn-scented super balls. I mean, mostly I like it in there, but there are times I wish we could stay in one gear and just drive, without all the frantic veering and Y-turns. So when the DVD segment concluded, and the workshop instructor led us into our first meditation, I put all the jokes on hold and tried my best. The squirrel paused among the super balls. I snuck a peek at my wife, just two feet away, but a thousand miles ahead of me. Back in my head, the squirrel raised his paw. Yes, I said. Yada yada, said the squirrel. Works for me, I said. And off we went, zigzagging our way down the eightfold path. Ladies and gentlemen, most certainly well ahead of me on that path and ready to sing again. Jason Isbell. Star. 
But I knew she planned to sleep alone I'd carry her to bed Sweep up the hair from the floor And if I'd fucked her before she got sick I'd never hear the end of it But she don't have the spirit for that man We drink our drinks and laugh out loud Bitch about the weekend crowd and try to ignore the elephant somehow Somehow She said, Andy, you crack me up Seagram's in a coffee cup Share proper eyes and her hair almost all gone. When she was drunk, she made cancer jokes, made up her own doctor's notes, and surrounded by her family, I saw that she was dying alone. So I'd sing her a classic country song. She get high and sing along, but she don't have much voice to sing with me. We burn these joints in effigy, cry about what we used to be, try. Thanks to Amanda and Derry for helping me out there. You guys go get something that makes you happy. We'll see you again in just a few minutes. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you.
town since I grew up Cut my dreams, take up too much space I'll never find a place that's big enough And the chairs go up on the bar now And the table lights go black So I order one last couple and start calling me a car to save his life Said he's glad that he quit the road He said he's getting old He missed his wife Let all him to sleep since nine Sure she's doing fine She always is Dad won't answer his phone at night But I guess that's all Wave down a car I won't be going far And I got cash Think I blocked just a park away But I can't really say It's been all night How I wish you would call me here But you just disappeared It wasn't right And the street lights fell Such a sweet night 
audience was just right Drinking like a pirate too Don't wanna sleep yet, buddy, it's a cut bell Jason Isbell, ladies and gentlemen, honored to have you in the tent. Wisconsin Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, the summer home of Tent Show Radio. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Fun ideas for your Wisconsin getaway from dining and destinations to attractions and accommodations are available at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau, Bayfield, Wisconsin. Offering sailing and kayaking among 22 pristine islands. Gourmet restaurants, art galleries, and historic lodging. 
Information online at bayfield.org. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior. Proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions. Online at thebayfieldinn.com. We extend our special thanks to these tent show radio sponsors, to the supporters of our nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, to our affiliate public radio stations, and to listeners like you. Tune in next time on your radio or online. Station locations, Big Top Summer Show Schedule, online ticketing, and touring schedule of the Blue Canvas Orchestra at bigtop.org or by calling 1-888-BIG-10. Or stay in touch with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash bigbluetent. Tent Show Radio is produced by Tom Fabjans, Michael Perry, Jamie Hansen, and yours truly, Philip Anich. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you join us in the tent or join us in the air, whether you beam us or stream us, we're as grateful as the guy who, if he really bears down, can hear the sound of one squirrel talking. Remember, the Big Top is open all summer long and into autumn and has been for going on three decades now. We'd love it if you came up and or over for a show. And if you're traveling by World Wide Web, I'd be grateful if you dropped by to visit me, your grateful tent show radio host, at sneezingcow.com. Yep, just the way it sounds. I'm going to head on back home now, trying to maintain, if not raise, my consciousness. Drive careful. If you can't drive careful, watch out for the other guy. We'll see you next time. And remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.